Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Yves Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. And Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Bone Crusher. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. We'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your point. advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Oh, that right hand is on point. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Good punch. Head kick. Misses again with a right punch. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. 
nice right punch by this young man. A oh, little single collar tie there. Hands up. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Dig and kick. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Big punch land. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Right up the elbow, body kick land. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. And they set it. Big ball to switch land. That would get back to range. Hardy engages in a single collar tie here. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Powerful leg kick lands. Ten seconds to go in the round. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Big kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hooks behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Nice body. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. The right hand just misses. Unable to connect there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at him push his hip into that kick. Lands the overhand right. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just misses with the straight right. Liver kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Beautiful counter punch. Oh, there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. 
see, he's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Nice strike. Oh, and what a round! All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. What corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds? Oh, a huge block there. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Straight punch lands. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Pretty good right hand. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Checks the leg kick, lands with the right hand. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really strong. Right off the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Nice kick. Miss with the right hook. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Good punch, man. Oh, huge block. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. One, two, stop him. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for 
for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Still nice body kick land. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Can't take many of those, you better check. Lee's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got hurt bad. Wide single collar tie now. Oh! Back and forth we go! He misses with the right hand. Starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And that one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Under two minutes to go in the round. Nice punch, man. Over the top. Real quick leg kick. Big head kick lands. What a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. All right, close guard now. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Recovery, man. Right back to his feet. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got of size for this division and put it to good use there. Real speed fire. Fifteen seconds to go. This fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice punch, land. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Yeah, left hook found its target. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Lou. Nice straight punch. How about that shin? Oh, big knee there. Knee hurt. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Less than three minutes to go now in this fifth and final round. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. Kick. Oh, 
Oh, big left hook there. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. That's a big strike right there. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Lee! All right, so there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his performance tonight.